Hello friends, it's Samuelis. Welcome back to more Wild Season. Today is the Firefly Festival. It starts on your farm at 7 p.m. The whole town will be there. I'm a little confused because yesterday Denise said I would be there at 6, but my notebook says I need to start setting up at 5, so I'm not really sure what time I'm supposed to be there. Either way, I have very limited time today to water and harvest all my crops. And while the town's here, you and Darius are going to try and break into Dr. Hayes' house to see if she or anyone else left any clues to how or why she suddenly disappeared. Hopefully tonight you can finally get some answers. Oh my gosh, my character is motivated. But yes, today is the Firefly Festival, and we have a lot to do. I need to buy a milking tool from the animal store if that's possible. I need to take care of my animals as per usual, harvest and water all of my crops, um, find brandy, hopefully, and then during the Firefly Festival, we need to break into Dr. Hayes' house. So let me go, yeah, my, my poor pear tree, my pear tree died because I didn't water it every day. I didn't know you're supposed to water trees every day, but I learned the hard way and I hope you guys can avoid that experience. And make sure you water your, your tree every single day, even after it's full grown. I just want to snuggle my chicken. Okay, there we go. And put some feed down. See, I don't even know if um, the animal store is gonna be open today because I feel like on holidays, a lot of places usually close. I mean, I'm still gonna go there. Obviously. Man, I just wasted $2,000 on my sapling. I wonder if I should buy another one because, like, this is going to be my last chance to buy a summer tree. And I want to have, you know, a summer tree. I saw someone snuggle their cow. I saw Proxy, or the 8-Big Ignoramus on YouTube. I saw him snuggle his cow, but he says he can't do it anymore. So maybe there <laughs> was also some terrible glitch that affected him. But I'm going to feed my cow, and I'm going to brush it once. Let me put that away. And let me take a look at my cow's affection levels. Affection is going up. I feel like it's going up very slowly if it is at all, but my chicken's affection is clearly going up, so that's nice. Um, okay, so <laughs> I'm gonna try my best to water really, really fast because otherwise, uh, I don't, I don't know if I can water during the Firefly Festival. I mean, I know it's gonna be on my farm, but I'm nervous. So I'll catch you guys after I finish watering everything, and then we'll check out if the animal store is open. Okay, guys, I finished watering, and I also did a teeny bit of harvesting up there in the top. But I am going to go see if Steven's animal store is open right now because I want to buy that milking tool before I forget. And I, <laughs> I did decide that I wanted to buy that other sapling because if I can only buy saplings during the season that it grows in, or at least per season, I don't know if um, trees will give produce um, when it's not the season. And why did I click that? I know it's in feeds because it's not an animal. <laughs> Excuse me. But I do need to buy a milker because I don't know when a cow will start to give milk, so I'm just going to get that right now. My money is starting to run low again, which makes me nervous and unhappy. I mean, I know I still have a lot of time left, and like I get like maybe 1,500 or 2,000 every single day for my cucumbers, because I almost always chop like 90 or so of them. Actually, let me try out my milking tool right now. Hopefully my cow doesn't get mad that I use it on there, <laughs> but um, we'll just check to make sure I'm not missing out on, on it. Whoa, why is my brush back in my inventory? That's really weird. Okay, so the milking tool is simple, easy, and clean. Milking animals just got quicker. That makes me think I could have milked my cow beforehand. Wow, why isn't this equipping? Am I not allowed to equip it? What happened to all my items, by the way? This is really wrong. <laughs> uh, okay, so my key items are still here. My milking tool disappeared. I just spent 2,500 on it, so I hope it's not gone forever. Where is my milking tool? Nine is seeds. I don't have any seeds, so I'm not gonna try that. I feel like seven has to be the milking tool, right? Oh no. My milking tool is gone. That's not good. Where's my milking tool? I just bought it. This is ridiculous. Okay. Well, I tried to buy a milking tool. It's not here in my inventory anymore. I don't know what happened. But I guess I'm just gonna frantically harvest now because that's all I can do. I might have just been... I might just be down 2,500 now with no milking tool inside. I don't know what happened here. But I'll see you guys after I finish. Hey guys, I'm back. It's already 5 o'clock and I actually... Um, I try to go save in my bed as I usually do after I finish watering, and apparently on this day you cannot save in your bed. If you go to your bed, it tells you, well I'll just put the little um, video here, but it basically tell you, tells you that you can't because you need to wait for Denise, and then um, I accidentally picked the wrong option, I pressed yes, because I thought like, I, I don't know, I don't know what I thought, but either way, it transported me forward in time, and so I had to redo, I had to rewater and reharvest, and I couldn't harvest everything yet, so they better let me chop cucumbers during the festival. <sighs> Denise will probably be here soon. <laughs> I'm almost done with cucumbers. Please let me finish. Oh, hey, um, I'm here to set up for the festival? Um, I hope it isn't a bad time. It's not? Oh, good. I'll go ahead and get started then. Okay, so while she's setting up, can I continue? Okay, despite Denise's near constant protests, you help her set up for the festival. Okay, fine, I have a good heart. 
That's fine. Ooh, this is cute. He has a lot of tables and chairs. I told you that you didn't have to help. You've, been, you've already been working all day. You should take a break. You're right. Who would have thought boxes of jars would be so heavy? If I can't handle this, how can I handle the farm? Don't worry. I'm fine. Hey. If I can't handle this, how can I handle a farm, huh? It's that kind of attitude that can ruin farms. You think you can handle anything, and the next thing you know, you're in bed for weeks, and the farm dies out. Oh my gosh, sorry, Denise. But I also kind of push myself a lot of the time, so I can't exactly talk, huh? Anyway, here, have some water. You received some water from Denise, who would have thought? She just keeps water on her. It was surprisingly ice cold. You feel refreshed. Your stamina is fully recovered. <gasps> Thank you! Oh, Denise is freaking out. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> I think everything's done. All that's left to do is wait until everyone gets here. Thank you again for everything, Maribel. Everyone in town really appreciates it, and I appreciate it too. Thank you. You're not sure, but you feel a slight friendship forming between you and Denise. But will it last? <laughs> anyway, uh, why don't you show me what you've done, you know, around the farm, while we wait? <laughs> um, I really hope my stamina recovered. He spent some time with Denise. At 6 p.m., an hour has passed. I really hope my stamina has recovered so I don't have to sacrifice any more cucumbers to my stomach. I've already eaten one, but if I can keep from doing that. Oh, this is nice. The Firefly Festival is now in full swing, but there's no time to get comfortable. You've got a yeah, sorry. You've got a possibly dead person's house to break into with Darius. It could be disastrous, but you feel like you have no other choice. It's time to figure this out once and for all. Ooh, my character is determined. Okay, it looks like stamina is recovered. Wait, let me throw in my cucumbers first because I know I have a lot. Um, yeah, I also got rid of one stack of wood because it was taking up too much space in my inventory and I haven't been able to go fishing to get rid of my worms because I've had to farm all day, every single day, because of all my freaking cucumbers. But, um, let me go chop the rest of my cucumbers. I don't have many. Don't get mad, everyone, that I'm working on a festival day. It's my farm, and I have to do what I have to do to survive, okay? Oh. I'm still so sad about my pear tree. How could... How could that have happened for my pear tree? I wonder if I'm gonna need stamina to break into the house, because why else would she give me a glass of water? Anyway, let's talk to people. Let's not make the same mistake as last time and immediately go to the event. Wow, everyone really is here. It's Luana. Oh, hello, dear. Hi, Maribel. Thank you for hosting the festival, dear. This and the Harvest Festival have always been my favorites. Both? Both are so peaceful? Is that supposed to be an R? Now, why have none of the young men around here gotten you a firefly yet? <laughs> Grandmother! Maribel is busy at the moment. I mean, she is hosting a festival. She has no time for that. Ah, yes, of course, of course. So sorry, dear. Grandmother, let me get you a firefly. Oh, yes, I like that very much, dear. Excuse us, Maribel. <laughs> Why does Linda always look so cocky? Linda seems to be blocking you from Luana. <laughs> It'd be best to leave the two alone. Really, honey, I don't need one. Don't strain yourself if you don't need to. Come on now, Misty, don't tell me you think I'm too old to catch a bug or two. Too old? Brock, you've struggled to catch these things since high school. I've trouble rolled one rock one time, and... You failed to catch Betty's heart, yes? I managed to get yours, though, and I wouldn't change it for the world. That's sweet. Me neither. Oh, wow, why are they... Are they leaving? Oh, okay. <laughs> they just They just wanted to make an appearance, I guess. They're heading out. Okay, here's Roy. It's Donald! I get the two mixed up and it's horrible because I love Roy. Roy's one of my favorites here. Miss Amaryllis. Hi. Uh, are you having a good night? Me too. <laughs> I'm gonna catch you the brightest firefly ever, okay, Miss Hunter? I'm Miss Amaryllis, not Miss Hunter. Guess they didn't change that default there. For you and Sky and Panka and Miss Lily and all the girls, okay? Alright, everyone. If you haven't gotten your jars yet, please come over. It looks like the festival's really getting underway. You better slip out while everyone is looking the other way. I haven't talked to everyone, though. No, I wasted time talking to Brock when I didn't need to. Okay, so I don't actually know where... Um, oh, that was weird. I don't actually know where to go. Oh! This... Okay, I guess this is the house Darius meant. I thought it might have been the old brown one by the um, hospital, because it's also by the kids' general store, and he mentioned the house being by the kids, but... Anyway, whatever. <laughs> hey, you made it! Oh, I can see all the fireflies out. I don't think I've seen that before. Any trouble sneaking out? No? Well, I'll be damned. We might actually pull this off. I should probably go knock on wood, huh? Alright, here we go. What's the worst that can happen, right? Um, I can picture a lot of things. Right. Mmm. I really don't want to be here. Oh, too bad. The door's locked. We can't get in. Oh, well. 
Okay, so um, good news and bad news. Good news, neither of us knows how to break into a house properly because we're not criminals. Bad news is that neither of us know how to break into a house properly because we're not criminals. <laughs> the two of you quickly take out your phones. So what would you do a search for? How to break into a house? How to break into a house without crazy people noticing you? How to break into a house and pretend you didn't have to search the internet to figure out how? Wait, wait, wait. How to break into your own house. Less incriminating. <laughs> Your phone doesn't have any bars either, does it? Damn it, Claude. You put away your useless phones. Okay, no worries. We're good. We're totally good. I mean, we're pretty smart, right? I was a disaster doctor. You live by yourself in a city in your early 20s, if not longer. I mean, between the two of us, we gotta have some street smarts, right? We can figure this out. Oh, he was a disaster doctor. He's not, like, a terrible doctor. He's just a doctor who worked for disasters. Sorry, Darius, I doubted you. Um, so, uh, any suggestions? The easiest thing to do would be to break in one of the windows, right? But one look at the house in the morning would incriminate the two of you immediately. If only one of you knew how to pick a lock. Tonka knows how to pick a lock. Tonka has a lock, lock picking kit. You tell him that you've seen Tonka pick a lock before. Who, the Giles girl? Are you kidding? She'd brought us out in a minute. Her brother and Denise are always together. No way. Wait, how do you know that she can pick locks anyway? You hesitantly explain that you've recently been recruited as her detective sidekick. You're kidding, right? Okay, but the trouble with Tonka... Oh, there's a plane outside. The trouble with Tonka is that she doesn't have a phone, so I'm going to have to call Edward to give her the phone. So, like, Edward's going to know. You're kidding, right? Ah, you're not kidding. Okay. Even if you two are... Whatever you just explained to me. Do you think it's a good idea to involve anyone from here in town? I mean, I know we had Randy do a thing or two, but he's obviously more in the dark than we are, and that's saying something. She did seem pretty independent when she came in for a physical a few seasons back. Look, it's... It's your decision, alright? I appreciate that you're willing to do this from the moment I suggested it, but I've been calling all the shots since this whole thing started. <sighs> if we want to figure this out, we both gotta be contributing, right? So what should we do? Should you go find Panka to have her unlock the front door, or try your luck with breaking through a window? Screw it, let's go break a window, I think we should get Panka. I am not about to punch some glass! I need my hands for farming, they're very important. I have dirt on Panka, she's not gonna rat me out. I think we should get her. Alright, let's do it. I mean, hey, pretty much anything's gotta be better than breaking a window, right? Anyway, I think it'd be better if you go to get her alone, it'll be less suspicious. I'll, uh, keep guard in the meantime or something and not do something stupid, alright? Hurry back. Do I go back and get Panka from my farm? Or... Oh, you don't need to go in here at the moment. Okay. <laughs> this shortcut needs to be better outlined. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, I don't know where Panka is. Oh, she is on my farm? And they're letting me go back to my farm. Thieves in the night achieved. The one is leaving again. There's Denise. I want to talk to everyone else. Oh, look, Panka, I caught one. Do you want to put it in your jar? No. Why not? Other people are supposed to catch them for you, right? You and Gavin played a prank on me when I was sick. When you were pretending to be sick. Same thing. <laughs> well, I promise that we won't the next time you come, okay? I'll bring Gavin in. Really? Really. I'll see you tomorrow then. Okay. Wait, what? <laughs> well, you know what they say about fireflies, right? Whoa, all the people are all messed up. Well, you smashed them as a kid, right? Why is... It, why does it seem like Edward's responding to Gavin? Their bodies are used in highlighters. <laughs> because when you smash them, they're fluorescent like yellow highlighters are? <laughs> okay, uh, you shouldn't explain your jokes. That's all you gotta say? <laughs> they're leaving together. Ooh. And see, I think I have all the right stuff equipped. Uh-huh. And I actually think my party's like at least three levels above where they should be. Uh-huh. Oh, they're talking about a game? So it shouldn't be a problem, but apparently you need a second key when you get to the top of the dungeon? Right. Every time I go to find it through the- Every time I go to find it, though, the shadows end up kicking my butt. It's on the floor with the transporting hallways. What? Seriously? <sighs> Dang it. Steven starts talking about all sorts of technical stuff you don't really care to understand. You should probably leave the two alone. That's- They're like leaving one by one. This is freaking me out. Hi, Frank. You're a human I like. Hey, what's up? Enjoying yourself? Thanks for letting the town host it on the farm. It's not a very intense event by any standards, but it's an important one around here. I came here with Roy, but he ran off as soon as we got here. Oh well, as long as he doesn't get himself hurt. I'll let you get back to what you're doing, Maribel. See you. There are so many people here. Hey, Mary. So late, you're up to something, huh? Huh? <sighs> Whatever, Mary. You are so weirdly glitched out. Nice night, huh? Okay. Okay. They're walking. Oh, hey, Maribel. I was actually looking for you. I know it's none of my business, but did you and Jessie have a fight or something? She's been in a bad mood for days now, and she even refused to come tonight, and this is like her favorite holiday. 
She won't talk about what happened, but she did say it was about you. Do you think you can try talking to her? Maybe try resolving what's going on? To be honest, it's just weird seeing her like that. I promise I'll make pancakes for the both of you afterwards, okay? Just take care of her, alright? Thanks. Mm. I hope you've been having a good day today, Maribel. Uh, okay, that's weird. Um, good evening. <laughs> hey, you're out pretty late, huh? This is all messed up, you guys. It, it looks like I'm kickstarting people's schedule so they like go run off and then they come running back because they're like, oh wait, there's like an override. I should be here right now. You're out late, aren't ya? Yeah, I am. Good evening. Get off my farm. <laughs> Here's Alice. Working late, I see. Y'all need to get off my farm. Hi. <laughs> you really need to find Panka or else you might not get into Dr. Hayes' house before the festival ends. Oh, you think you see her? Too late. I wanted to talk to everyone, but I guess I didn't get to. Maribel, hey. Nice party you have here. Real chill. My style. No mystery, but in the shows, it always builds up to one. I can't complain. You need something? How do you feel about breaking into a house? I have a case, I think. Well, here's the thing. I have a case, I think. You think? Maribel, you either have one or not. Spill it. You explain that you want her to pick a lock. Pick up a lock? Pick a lock at a house. So you're saying you want the two of us to break into someone's place. Why in the world didn't you say so? Let's go, let's go, let's go! Uh... <laughs> Tonka somehow manages to drag you out of the festival without anyone noticing. The two of you head to Dr. Hayes' house. Oh, there's so many cobwebs. That was actually pretty impressive there, Panka. Where'd you learn to do that? Pay a guy at school to teach me. Also, I'd prefer it if you address me as detective from here, from this point on. We're kind of in the middle of a job here. Well, aren't we a barrel full of laughs? <laughs> Darius, be more grateful to Panka. That's something to do with you two asking about, around about the doctor, right? Panka, do you know anything about this? Mm, no, not really, okay? I'm never told anything, all right? They think I'm some stupid kid. What do they know, anyway? But you do agree they're hiding something. Mm. It's 10 already? Seriously? Oh man, I gotta go back. I gotta go. Eddie said we're leaving at 10.30, and if I'm not back, I'm screwed. Yeah, I'm sure that's the only reason. Shut up. Okay, Samurless, I'm counting on you to do a thorough sweep of the place. Know any evidence, take pictures if you can, make sure this newbie here doesn't mess anything up. Hey! And seriously, don't get caught. That's the last thing I need. Later. Oh, by the way, I'm not gonna rat you guys out or anything. Well, seeing that you helped us break in. Unless Mrs. Underhill hires me to spy on you two, then I'll tell her everything. Wow, thanks. Later. Paco wouldn't do that to me. That's who you help play detective? Really? Alright, let's do this. Uh, you need to take a good look around before you leave. You didn't break in here just for the hell of it, after all. I wasn't trying to leave, I was trying to look at stuff. Something's different about the cloth on this table. The cloth seems like it was fluffed just recently. Oh, okay. Okay, my person is freaking out. Everything else in the house that you can see, though, has obviously not been disturbed. Uh, details about the table are added to your notebook. What's, table, what's important about the table? I hope this isn't timed. You smell a faint but pungent smell. You're probably going to want to leave that alone. I hope it doesn't time me because I'm slow. <laughs> Dr. Hayes kept a surprising number of books. Nothing seems to stick out, though. It seems that no one took the time to clean the ashes out of her fireplace. Huh? It seems like there's unburnt scraps of paper in the ashes. They're way too small to determine what they belong to, but you do see that a number of them contain some messy handwriting. Was someone maybe in a hurry to burn them? Details about the fireplace ashes were added to your notebook. That's really disturbing. <laughs> you should keep looking around. Nothing there. Oop, even though it's only been a couple of seasons since her disappearance, the, the white sheet has enough dust on it. If you looked at this from afar, it looked like it was actually gray. You pat it down to make sure nothing else is covered up. Hope I'm not leaving my skin cells there. Doesn't seem like it. Or like handprints? That would be bad. Okay, this is the same thing about books. Um, let's go upstairs. Oh, it's so spooky. Even more books in here. Did she really have the time to read all of these? Huh? Unlike the books in the living room, these all seem to be about the same topic. Half the books seem to be about myths and legends, while the others are sorted squarely into advanced biology. It almost seems like a joke that she placed the two topics together. But why would she keep these ones upstairs near her desk? Details about the upstairs bookshelves were added to your notebook. You should keep looking around. Let's look at this lamp. Nope. This table. You look up the sheet to see what's underneath. It seems to be a rather expensive desk, though now it's so caked with dust you're unsure whether it could be saved now. But wait, the sheet should have protected it. Was this desk originally left clear? You try to open the center drawer. 
It's locked. Hmm. That's spooky. Okay. Up in there. In there. Bookshelves. Huh? Are there keys up here? Her bedroom door is locked. Why would anybody bother? You wonder if you can find the key somewhere. Are these the keys? Nope. Huh? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop! I want to look at the poster! <sighs> okay. Couldn't look at the poster anyway. These look suspicious. I can't open that desk down there, over here. Oh my god, I'm so scared. Okay. It's the same thing. Maybe this pot? No. Hmm, I'm gonna go back downstairs. Do I have to look at all the bookcases? Is it gonna think I'm trying to leave? Okay, there we go. I know! Counters are caked in dust. Still caked in dust. That's also a counter, apparently. I feel like I've looked everywhere. Unless I look at every single bookcase again. I don't want to, though. Seems like a pain. Um, okay. Maybe this lamp? Darius, what are your thoughts? Let's get started. Okay. I guess I'm gonna look at... I know. I'm not trying to leave. I'm just trying to look at these bookcases. Yep. Where would... Where would the key be? Still gross. This table is still different. It won't let me talk to it again, though. Does it let me talk to things only once? That's kind of handy if that's true. I don't think that is, though. Yeah, no. Where would a key be? I already checked the chair. Maybe I have to check every single chair? Oh! We found a small key. It seems to belong to a door of some kind. These is about the small key were added to your notebook. You should see if you can figure out where it belongs. I thought it would be over the table because it seemed like the table had a new sheet put on it. Okay. This is either to her room or to her desk. I'm guessing it's to her desk and then we'll find a key to her room there. Okay. Expensive desk. It's caked in dust, but now it's covered in a sheet. You try to open a center drawer, it's locked. Okay, maybe I need to try this door. Huh? Her bedroom door is locked, why would anyone bother? That's right, you found that small key. You wonder if it will open the door. I'm really scared I don't want to be here. It does. I don't think time is passing, but I'm scared either way. You think that now would be a good time to talk over what you've seen. You head downstairs to find Darius. Uh, well, we pretty much turned over the place. Gotta admit, I was hoping to see something real obvious, but we're probably way too late to the game for anything like that. Should have known better. Anyway, we're obviously going to have some overlap, so maybe both of us saw something the other didn't. So, see anything out of the ordinary? Ashes in the fireplace. Yeah, I noticed no one bothered to even clean out her fireplace. What about it? They explained that there's some charred scraps of paper mixed up in the ashes. What, like newspaper or something? Stuff with handwriting on it? Really? Interesting. Unfortunately, we can't determine whether they were burned before or after her death. But if she did it herself, she could have been trying to hide something. And if someone else did it, they were definitely trying to hide something. I mean, who burns a bunch of handwritten papers when they could have just been thrown away? Not anyone I know, that's for sure. Not that it'd help us all that much anyway. No matter what we do, we won't be able to read them. They really did think of anything. Maybe with another soup of the house, we could find what they belong to. Maybe that would be a good start. What else did you find? Okay, they're gonna let me talk about everything. That was the first thing I noticed, actually. Thing is, you'd think I'd be worried about the fact that someone's been in here recently and either took something or cleaned something up, which I am. But why in the world would they only fan out the table sheet? That's, there's enough dust on the thing for you to know it hasn't been touched in a while, so it's not like someone's been in here in, like, the last week or something. And if they really had to get rid of something that obvious, wouldn't they have done that before, you know, the police came in here? And even if we want to pretend Rosalind or someone paid... paid off the police on top of everything else, which would be ridiculous, you don't just leave evidence that someone you didn't pay off would find later. I'd hate to give her props, but if she's at the center of this whole thing like it appears, she's not that stupid. Oop, another plane passing by. It makes no sense. Or, you know, someone could have come in here at a later time to go through her stuff, meaning we're barking up the wrong tree. Well, if they did, they sure left a bunch of stuff. 
So the table might not be a clue, but even if it is, it's pretty much nothing to go on. What else you got? Okay, last one is the bookcase upstairs. I guess we're just not gonna talk about the key I found. <laughs> oh yeah, I took a look at our collection in the living room. Pretty extensive. This place is like a library. But yeah, the ones upstairs? Books on myths and then advanced biology, right? Strange topics to be kept together, especially when everything out here seems to be grouped to general topic. I doubt it's a clue or anything, but man, Ken and a few others weren't kidding when they said Dr. Hayes was a bit eccentric, huh? Well, hey, sometimes it's the scraps that keep you alive in the end, right? Let's make a note of it in case it somehow ends up mattering later. What else? You wanna talk about my key? You take out the key that you found under Dr. Hayes' bed. I did not find this under her bed, I found it in the sofa chair here in the living room. What's that, a key? <sighs> right, her bedroom was locked. Come on, we'll go in, we'll go look in there together. That te text doesn't even make sense because I haven't been in the bedroom yet. <sighs> the two of you head upstairs. After some angling, you're able to get the bedroom door open. Uh, I'm leaving fingerprints everywhere. <gasps> no, my character's wearing gloves. But Darius isn't. Darius should have medical gloves. He's a doctor. You receive what seems to be Dr. Hayes' diary. You make note of it in your key items. Hair, can I see it? Sorry, that was a weird voice. <laughs> Let's see here. Darius is flipping through the beginning of the book. Yes, it's her diary. Maribel, we hit the jackpot. Uh... Dr. Hayes, please forgive us for invading your privacy with this much excitement. And thank you so much for caring enough about that privacy to lock this damn thing up. Huh? Is it the handwriting like in the ashes? The last 50 pages or so are gone. You looked at the diary with, diary with Darius. He's right. While the good amount of the diary remains intact, the last bit looks like as though it was ripped out of its binding in a hurry. Let me see when the last entry was written. Fall 15th? <gasps> Over three years ago? There was no way she managed to write three years' worth of entries on 50 or so pages. I mean, look at how details, detailed these entries are. There should be another diary, but why is this one locked up and the newer one not? Do you think someone may have burned the new one along with the pages from this one? But that doesn't make any sense. Why burn one whole book and a few pages instead of just burning everything? And why lock this one back up for someone to find? Wait, Maribel, you said that some of the ashes still had handwriting on them, right? If that's the case, there's no way they burned another diary. They didn't even give the fire enough time to burn the papers all the way. It couldn't have burned an entire book to ashes. That means someone took it! That means her other diary must be somewhere. Someone took it, or if it's still here. Or it was destroyed some other way. Yeah. Either way, someone obviously didn't want anyone finding it, even perhaps Dr. Hayes herself. Your entry on the fireplace ashes was amended. Maybe we should take another look around, see if maybe, if maybe it's hiding in the bookshelves or something. Oh my god, we have to look at all the bookshelves. You hear voices outside! Oh, the festival's letting out. We gotta get you back to the farm before Denise notices you left. Just when we started to get somewhere, too. I'll take the diary for now, right? I'm gonna give it a look over to see if someone maybe missed something that could be of some use. Okay, I don't want it in my key items. Darius, you take it. <laughs> I'll give you a call about it tomorrow, all right? We didn't get to search her room. Now, come on. We gotta get out of here before Edward potentially starts grilling Panka on where she's been. Oh, my gosh. I was, like, so ready for someone to come and, like, catch us in the act. The two of you managed to sneak out of Dr. Hayes' house while no one is around. You say goodnight to each other and you rush back to the farm. After helping Denise pack up, you finally get to bed. What a day! Oh my gosh. Ah! 10.45pm. I still have so much stamina left, it's such a shame! the ground here? I can't, not without a tree in my inventory. Um, maybe, yeah, I'll clear some of my farm up, just a little bit. I want to use up my stamina if I have it. It's not midnight yet, so I should still be able to wake up tomorrow fine. You know what I should have done? I should have gone fishing. <laughs> I should have gone fishing. I almost don't want to chop the lumber because if I'm just going to throw it in the bin anyway and not be able to use it, I might as well leave it here until the lumber shed actually works and then I can use my, my lumber for good use because I'm certainly not going to be using any more of my farm for planting things because this is already way too much. So I think I'm just going to clear out stones here. It'll just make it easier for me to walk around on the farm and that'll be nice because I always get caught on them while trying to reload my, uh, my watering can because I have to do that so often. So, oh my gosh. Who could have gone into Dr. Hayes' house late, and why would they have? It must have been the mayor or Rosalind, because they're the ones that have keys to everyone's house in town. 
Actually, I don't know if they do have keys to Hayes' house. Because they said after the incident, that's when they got keys to everyone's house. Because, you know, it's kind of worrying. But... Why would they go back for something? There are so many mysteries I don't understand. And I just want to make sure that it's not in my key items anymore. Because I don't want the diary in my key items. Okay, good. Darius can take care of that. The whole time I was so scared someone was going to find us. I was so afraid. Okay, it's 12.30. I want to be able to wake up on time tomorrow. So I'm just going to chop these two. Throw my rocks in here. And then call it a day. Yeah, I really should have gone fishing that last hour. Oops. I didn't want to go very far. I guess I could have just gone south. There's like a river there. <laughs> Whatever, I made mistakes. Things happened. Oh, it seems like my cucumbers are gone. That's great. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> thank you for thank you for joining me for another episode of Wild Season. This is Samarillis. I hope you have a great day today. You're really tired even more than usual. Maybe it's from everything that happened last night. Would you like to go to bed early? Uh, no, because it's midnight. I'm not going to bed early. Let's try to stick it out for a few more hours. Would you like to save? Yes. Not really sure what's happening with the dialogue here. But anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day today. And remember to be kind to yourself and to others. Bye-bye. Why does it say it's Saturday 7 p.m. now? It's not nighttime. It's morning. I don't know what's happening, you guys. Why does my chicken still have... I don't know what's happening. I'm, uh, I don't want to replay that over again because I did a lot of harvesting and watering. I'm really tired. Would you like to go to bed early? Sure. I decided to get some shut eye. Maybe they'll fix it. I'm nervous. Your phone's ringing. You better get up. It's Darius. Okay, I preemptively ended this episode, but I guess we're still going. Um, he might have gotten a chance to look through Dr. Hayes' diary. You better answer. Hey, Maribel, saw that no one busted down the door to the clinic this morning looking for me. Guessing you made it back all right with Denise none the wiser? Good, glad to hear it. So, uh, on the side of not so great news, there's a reason whoever ripped the pages out of this diary didn't bother just burning the whole thing and calling it a day. Is it encoded? Everything that's left in here is, well, unhelpful is the nice way to put it. Nobody was kidding when they said she had her head screwed on a little odd, though. One day's entry... One day's entries, all about the pros and cons of having a llama be the cl clinic's mascot and hiring, like, an actual llama to be the receptionist and somehow check people in. Really, though, her thought process? It makes Gavin's entire existence make so much more sense, let me tell ya. Like aunt, like nephew. Seriously, she even had experiments of the day that she did, like, that she did. Like, listen to this. Spring 12th, a Saturday, experiment of the day. Can I convince either Gavin or Maya that vodka is still a popularly used method of pain management during outpatient surgeries? That just seems irresponsible. Seriously, how is this woman still in business? Did no one ever come in and look? I don't know, at her records or something? This is insane. Hey, wait a sec. That's weird. You hear Darius flipping through pages. Every Saturday's entry ends with the same sentence. Went to the forest for late night hymns. What? What does that even mean? The forest? Um, to the south of here is the main entrance to the forest bordering your little town of Bedford. We ask that you don't wander in there for any reason. You see, there's been a recent spike in animal attacks these past few years due to development in the surrounding area, so we don't want to see anyone hurt. As long as you steer clear of it, steer clear of it, you should be fine. Great, I'm happy you understand. That's right, they didn't let me go in the forest, even though I wanted to because there's nothing else to do. You tell Darius that the mayor was very insistent that you never enter in the forest. Now thinking about it, he told me that too when I first got here. I never had a reason to even go that far out of the main town, anyway. I never even gave it a second thought. She only ever mentioned going on Saturday. Hmm. I'll meet you there in ten. Darius hung up! You better hurry to meet up with him! What? 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 How, how am I level ten? Is that my stamina? That's so weird. Wait a second. Did I miss an entire day somehow? Um, everything is still watered, though, and my chicken hasn't eaten its, its feed. I don't know what's happening. This game is weird. It says it's 7 p.m. on a Saturday, like I slept the whole day away, but I didn't. Everything still looks like it was yesterday. Okay, I'm not controlling anymore. The forest. Of course the forest. We really are in a freaking movie. Wait, if we really got ourselves into some weird movie situation, should we really go guns blazing to the scary forest this late at night? With no concern for our safety and no flashlight to guide us? Darius, come on, think a little. Do you hear singing? 
the late night hymns. Come on, we're going in. Just gotta rip this thing up. Pen? Okay, well, that was easy. Alright, guess we go. Better go figure out why people would want to sing hymns in a forest supposedly wrought with danger every Saturday. And what the hell has that... What, what the hell that has to do with our missing doctor? Let's go. Um... 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 Apparently it's 8 p.m.? Oh my god. <laughs> I don't want to be here. Darius is just dragging me along. I'm not even doing anything right now. I think they're right over there. It sounds harmless enough, but so did asking around about Dr. Hayes, so... Come on, let's see if we can hide in some bushes or something and get a look at what in the world is going on here. Um... Hey! Who in the hell are you? Samurai! What? Samurai! Oh my god. Shut up, man. They're gonna hear us. Samu! Samurai! Yes, we get it. You're Samurai. Now, shh. <laughs> okay, now that we aren't uh, shouting our professions <laughs> at each other, we'd really like to go join the uh, service that's going on. See, uh, kind of an embarrassing story, but... We got out of work late and we were like, you know what we could really use? That one thing that happens late Saturday nights in the spooky forest. So we came here to this thing that happens all the time. Because we go every time to this thing that we totally know everything about. <laughs> so convincing, Darius. Uh... You ain't from Bedford. Well, actually, yes. Yes, we are. You see, I'm Dr. Jansen. I work at the clinic. And this is the, uh, the rather respected Maribel Samarillis, the new owner of that one farm. You know, that one. Overgrown with weeds, all that. Yeah, she owns that. Anyway, you, uh, you look hungry, Mr. Samurai. If you let us through, we'll, uh, bring you something? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll make you something. I make a pretty mean omelet. It's, uh, the only thing I really know how to make. Eggs? Eggs! What in the world? Where did that even come from? Samurai! Would you be quiet? Oh, shit. Samurai! Oh my god, no. The two of you are chased out of the forest by the strange samurai who has almost unnatural endurance. Um... What? What the absolute hell just happened? I'm like wiping sweat. Who just has some random guy with a stick in their freaking forest? Sorry, I should be quieter, shouldn't I? Alright, so let me get this straight. In the last half of the season, we've managed to find little to nothing about an esteemed doctor's sudden disappearance. And the closest answer we've gotten to why no one wants us going into the forest is because a crazy samurai man lives there. We really shouldn't quit our day jobs. Want to call it a night, but I am a detective, remember? No shit. But I am a detective, remember? Yeah, pretty sure that confirms our incompetence when the only one of us with any experience has got his from studying under Nancy Drew. Anyway, just call me tomorrow sometime when you get the chance. We'll lick our wounds and talk about what the hell just happened. Night. Okay. Curiosity almost killed the farmer. Apparently, it's Saturday at 10pm. I hope it's still technically... The day of the Firefly Festival, because that means I just wasted an entire day. I mean, at least all of my crops seem to still be watered. I don't know what on earth is happening. My cow still has feed. I still can't snuggle or talk to it. I don't know what's going on. There are a lot of mysteries happening here. Everything is still watered. Nothing is ready to harvest. My chicken is still eating. I don't know what's going on with game time right now. It better still be Saturday when I, when I sleep and save tomorrow. Actually, I'm just gonna sleep because it's not like I really did anything today, if today was even a day. <sighs> Sunday? Hmm. It looks like you got a text from Darius. Hey, Maribel, call ASAP when you get up. Wanna talk before Gavin and Maya come? You better call Darius. Maribel, hey, you got my text. Good. So, I managed to get some sleep last night? This is turning into the longest video ever. You did? I sure didn't. Every time I fell asleep, I had the same dream about that guy hitting me over the head with a dumb stick of his and me cracking open like an egg or something. That's terrible. Anyway, I think we're finally getting somewhere. I mean, seeing in a forest that, n that late at night on a Saturday of all days, when we were told specifically not to go, and then being stopped by a homeless samurai wannabe when we try to figure out why we're not allowed to go in there and sing stuff too. My point is, I think we should go in again next week. We can just be a little sneakier the next time we get close. I mean, he might not even be there next week for all we know. And I mean, you didn't see any crazy wild animals, right? Other than him, what's the worst that can happen? 
I uh, really should stop saying that, huh? But the point is, even if this ends up having absolutely nothing to do with Dr. Hayes, it's still a secret the town is keeping it from us, and it's at least a start on maybe figuring out the others. So, you game? <laughs> Glad to hear it. So we'll meet next Saturday night and uh, try that whole thing again. Until then, we should keep our heads low. We have no idea if that guy said anything to anyone, so we need to make sure make ourselves out of the s we need to take ourselves out of the spotlight as much as possible. All right. All right. Talk to you later. Bye. Darius hangs up. It looks like you and Darius are going to explore the forest again next Saturday. Hopefully, you'll find finally get some answers. Okay. Apparently, Saturday was just a total loss. Okay. Still. Okay. Yeah, because the Firefly Festival was supposed to be on Friday, and then somehow I slept through all of Saturday, even though I didn't need to do anything. And then, now it's Sunday, which is Ponka and Ponka's birthday. So, I don't know what on earth is happening. I'm just going to save right here to end the episode. Uh, because a lot has happened, somehow. So, yes, let me confirm. And, <laughs> okay guys, thank you for watching me play more of Wild Season. This is Sam Realist. I hope you have a great day. Remember to be kind to yourself and to others. Bye-bye.